The Palutena matchup is just so bad for Ness that I'd be very shocked if we don't see it. Uh, that's like, you Sometimes, because, you know, Rival came here to, uh... Damn, there's no camera, so I couldn't, like, take on the I was like, Rival came here to chill, so, I mean, maybe Arnold's out here looking to just carry the ZSS mount of the night. You never know. We'll see, but, you know, like I said, it's a very strong matchup for Palutena. Cons as far as I know, it's considered to be one of Ness's hardest ones. But Lumbay's pretty good at the matchup, I like to think. Um, I've played it with him quite a few times. Uh, he's done very well. He's kind of become, slowly become the premier Ness main here in SoCal. Yeah, I would definitely say so. Uh, the past couple seasons, he's been right in that, like, area 21 of the SoCal PR, I guess. Yeah, he's even talked about on Twitter how, like, he's really well aware of how this season's PR is going to be pretty shaky with a lot of players that have not attended enough locals or have done pretty bad at EVO or haven't done enough in general. I think for sure somebody that might be CPR this season might be Nintendo with such a great performance he had yeah, at EVO. Yeah, Nintendo, uh, Luna's looking real good. Yeah, Nintendo and Luna are for sure, if in my opinion, if they just keep it up for the next, the, the rest of this month, they're for sure lock-ins. Yeah, well, I mean, there's still another month. Does the PR season end in September? September. Or? Okay. All right, cool. So they got still a lot of time to keep it up, but you know. And also They've been showing pretty well. Um, Valadin, another name you can't forget when looking at you know the upper echelon of our unranked players. Yeah, Valadin definitely one of those threats. That back in Smash Four, like he kind of just came out the woodworks. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough victories or go to enough other locals to get PR'd. But yeah. he was always um, he was honorable uh, mention for yeah, a little bit because of such of his victories and his consistency over at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. Yeah, or as I like to call him, Hollywood Arcadian Tuesdays. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want to go to our, our local with our Canadians, man, go to Hat. All right, so it is going to be Palutena versus Ness. Not really too surprised right there. Now, I was looking away because there's some pretty good Soul Calibur going behind, so I didn't see the stage pick, but it is going to be PS2. Dash Tech just going to open up for Lumber. Is is Armor's controller working? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's, this is what I'm telling you. Like, you, when you have really good reads on your opponent, and honestly, the neutral, for you to understand is, like, my spacing. What, what's Ness going to come win, right? He's going to be going and looking for that PK fire. He's going to be going for that na that nair. He's going to be going for that forward air. For for Arma, he's looking for that whiff punish. He wants he wants Lumber to make the first approach for him to find that punish. And like you said, it's a pretty tough matchup for Ness. So he has a lot of the tools to take it. Good opportunity for him to jump out of the PK fire and only get hit by a forward air and not get followed by a combo. Yeah. It's a grab. Nair out of shield going to be the play here for Lumber. He puts Arma in a tech situation, but it's not going to be enough to kill him. Nice. I do like the fact that Arma is going for these empty hops, trying to mix it up between going for a tomahawk grab or a forward air. Look at Lumbre kind of showing that same amount of adaptation, the same respect to Arma as well. There's the Nair. Gets the first opportunity to put Lumbre off the stage once more again. One good spacing. Down, down tilt. And the confirm from the down smash because he knows he's going to be using the directional air dodge and the drift from Ness to come back to the ledge. Yeah, that was a great play from Arma. I'm putting that one in the playbook. Once more time, Arma showing great patience and great spacing here. He knows, well, I want Ness to come to me. I have the lead. I have no reason to. All right, back here for Lumbre. Is going to even out this game 0% apiece on their second stocks here. Nair missed the backer. I do like the fact that he was really well aware of how that late hand of Nair was going to send uh, Lumbre right behind him, so he tried to go for a simple follow-up like that. All right, now Lumbre just playing the patient game here, weaving in and out with these PK fires and these forward airs. And also, that's the other thing is at that distance, the neutral B auto reticle is very reactable with the magnet. Mm -hmm. Gonna be healing Lumbre up. Forward though, getting just a little more percent on him. Oh, he, Arma had the right choice, but unfortunately, I feel like he went for the rule. Wrong move, get up attack. I was gonna say, he still has invincibility and he follows up immediately from the explosive flame to a neutral B. Oh, miss input, I feel like that's what's going on. Teleport, great. Opportunity to come back, take center stage. Lumbre looking to fight back for him here. He goes for the up smash and he's yep. able to catch Arma on the return back. Arma had the right opportunity. I feel like he tried to go for a cross-up, but unfortunately, like, he just timed it wrong, and Lumbre already had the counter play in mind. All right, great read on the air dodge right there from Lumbre. Gets the grab on the directional air dodge, and now he's just inside of Arma's head. PK Fire reads the roll away with a fair, but doesn't get it to connect. 
Arnold started off really strong, right? He had the level of patience. He had the whip punch game kind of going on against Lumbre. And then he lost the stock, and Lumbre gets a lot of momentum from it. Kind of stops himself from going too far off the stage. Down tilt, and he tries to fall with a good forward air. Good spot dodge, but fortunately, he just pulls off a little bit second too late. Second too early, I would say. All right, holds oh. the up smash on his shield. It will poke through, and because it is an active hitbox that links into the strong hit, that will be enough to take game number one for Lumbre. Yeah. Armas started off really strong, very convincingly. Like I said, right, he kind of had Lumbre's number going on. He knew, like, hold up. Ness is going to be coming in with 4-H, going to be coming in with Nage, going to be coming in with PK Fire. Yeah. He's looking to come to me. So my opportunities, honestly, are going to be the one thing that I'm looking for is the whip punish, to punish Ness for approaching my zone. And he had it kind of on deck, but he just lost one stock, and immediately Lumbre kind of just brought that all back. Yeah. We, we saw the patience from Armor on the first stack, but once Moonbreak started to amount a pretty big lead, you know, Armor realized the onus was on him to go in and try and make this damage up. Unfortunately, Moonbreak is able to play very defensively at that point and very difficult for him to gain and actually make, get a real hit. Yeah. Armor once again, same game plan, seeing as how it went really well the first game. But immediately, Lumbre starts off straight forward to him with 46%. Honestly, that's kind of the one thing that I feel the Armor does have with Lumbre is that patience and the ability to understand, like, okay, I have big... Really that was sick. Yeah. I'm sorry. He has strong punishes against Lumbre, but the problem is, like, Lumbre has the instant action of damage, right? He's able to rack up damage so fast, and so is, so is Armor. Nice. Perfect with that recovery. Good spacing there, trying to get away from the people. Uh, Alright, they're both going for some mix-ups I haven't seen before. Back though, but it should not kill. Nice to tell him to warp. Yeah, I like Oh, she's all great. He understands the pressure when there's a fly in here. Alright, looking to catch him up in the blast zone that can kill him off the top if he's not careful. Nice. He sets the ledge, gets the grab here. Boombre opportunity here to probably come back with an aerial. I like it. Wants to make sure he hits Armin, that way Armin doesn't go for another ball like he did the last game. And he gets a small heal from, from the explosive flame. Yeah, and the thing is, both Palutena's, you know, projectiles or like non committal options at that distance are going to heal Loon Ray. So Armin has to be very careful about when he chooses to throw them out. For it, nice. Let's turn back to stage. He's sitting there down to yet again to get that follow up and he missed the mark. I feel like it might have been the percent here. Oh, oh. he looked for the back throw, but Lumbre just doing normal get up. Nice, good cross up. He even moved Lumbre a little bit because Lumbre was kind of hoping he might get grabbed instead, but at this point, our arm wasn't for that full cross up just to kind of fake Lumbre out and get a uh, stop. Oh, and Lumbre almost brought that one all the way around to try and run himself into Arma, but Arma able to snuff it out just in the nick of time. Not only that good use of dash attack, knowing that you do have a little bit of intangibility for this shield. Yeah, I'm right there, Lumbre catching the initial dash of Arma so he cannot deal the PK fire. For the PK thunder, this time Arma makes the reflect here and he comes back on the stage with Warp. Solid opportunity to go for an empty hop and then he goes for a forward ammo on the landing here. Yeah, and another heal right there for Lumbre, only 24% on him. Dangerous spot here for oh. Arma. Normal get or get up attack rather will be punished with the back here. And the thing is, Lumbre's done a good job of conditioning Arma to do that get up attack with these up and down smashes with the leg. Yeah. Hanging over them. If you get to the leg, you can get up attack and then see only punish you. Yes. Yeah. Hit it and now we died to that. Yeah, speaking of one of the few punishes here, Lumbre able to finish it off with the fire to the down and get the sweet spot of it. Also the 20 in a handshake. Don't give me that look, Lumbre. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look, dog. All right, well, I'm going to hop off for a hot minute, man. I'll definitely right. probably come back at the, towards a little bit later.